So I owe myself an update, an update on our unschooling life. Uh, We officially transitioned to an unschooling lifestyle just before 2020, only to realize that we've been unschooled from the start. We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. A family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. Learning to document our adventures in homeschool and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Every week looks different and the same all at once. Some days are more structured and others flow as freely as freely as they can be. Um, I've spent the summer troubleshooting, reflecting on our learning goals and the obligations and activities that will quickly fill our days again. Uh, Trying to figure out the best way to make this live and learn lifestyle a thing for yet another year. Uh, The last years have brought with them challenges that I did not anticipate and this past year has been just the same but I consider it joy (laughs) and I have been working hard to lay my worries down and spend my days catching memories that are soon to fade away Meeting our family at the lake was pure magic. We got to have meals together, to spend time with our nephews, to just enjoy being by the water, checking new experiences off of our to-do list. (laughs) To relax, to be curious, to laugh, to enjoy one another's company. That was difficult. <laughs> we did it. It was everything we needed and more. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> it was an adventure. Oh, nice. Did snap the snaps. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm such an auntie.
Kendall is forever looking for opportunities to fish. He's been my fisher chef from day one. Always clear that he wants fishing and cooking to be a part of his life forever. Unfortunately, his mama and his dad <laughs> have no idea what this fishing life is about. But the great thing about being at the lake with your family is that there's always an uncle who knows just what to do. Getting to watch Kendall go out and fish with his T.O. was just pure magic. I promise I just spent way too much time getting as much footage as I possibly could. He had his tackle box that we had gotten for him and everything. I really have to find a way to make this more of a regular thing when we are at home. One, two. <laughs> He was so patient and his joy was just so pure. It's a family field day, friends. <laughs> you know, their aunt and uncle had to come with all of the fun, okay? Just a kit of family fun things just for us. Hack and sack, is it, what is it called when you hop in those sacks? <laughs> the relay race and other games that we played together as a family was just so much fun. You know your girl didn't play, but I had the baby. <laughs> I was on baby duty and I had the camera to capture it all. Marshmallows, music, and memories by the fire. This day owes me nothing. It was just so much fun to hear all of the laughter and the excitement around getting to play the games together. Peace and joy are two things that are big around here. 
Um, and that's all I can think about when I think about this trip, uh, this vacation, this stay away with our family, uh, loving on each other, just peace and joy. And I have to say, I feel like peace and joy are big, big parts of why our unschooling life, our live and learn lifestyle works so well. Uh, where there's peace, where there's joy, the learning just kind of happens. Um, yeah, and that's something I want to remember as I head into the year. Each year brings new memories. Each day brings new lessons. And I want us to be here for it all. I want us to keep what matters at the forefront of it all. So that's it. <laughs> that's the update that's the update that i owed myself on unschool and life don't forget to subscribe